SCV, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be discussing everything to do with butterflies. And you might be like, Jesse, how is that even scary? Oh, trust me. I have found so many scary facts and really creepy, creepy pastas, creepy, creepy pastas, that have to do with butterflies that will blow your mind. And that is why I tried to style this video in a butterfly way. <laughs> this top is slightly too small for me. My arms are like suffocating, but it's okay, I match. Also guys, if you have not yet entered to win this backdrop behind me, we only have like a week and a half before I announce the winner. But if you would like to win this, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie B channel. Turn on your notification bell and then head over to an Instagram page that I created called Jessie B Merch. Go there and follow it and DM me what your favorite season of the year is. All right guys, so let's discuss some butterflies. Before I get into the really creepy stuff, this video really reminded me of my mom's theory. She believes that all white butterflies we see are angels. She says they look after us and whenever you see one, you know it's a good sign. And listen, there are so many coincidences in our family that support this theory. The first time my mom ever told my dad this theory, they were out on a walk and he was like, there's no way white butterflies are angels. I don't believe that. And right as he said those words, a white butterfly basically flew right into his face and fluttered around him and he was like, okay, 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 I believe you. There's also just been these handful of times that I've either been very sick from my Lyme disease or just having a really sad and upsetting day and I'll literally look out the window and a white butterfly will be on the window staring at me. And it's always just made me feel better because of what my mom told me. Also, the very first day that I moved into this new house, I had my parents over and I was talking out there to my mom about how I was really nervous about moving into this new house and I hope it was a good purchase for us. You know how sometimes you're just unsure of major life decisions? Well, just as I was talking to her about my fears, this white butterfly flew past us, and then this giant rainbow appeared right in my backyard. I literally have video evidence of it. So I don't know guys, there's just been so many coincidences. I could think of like 30 off the top of my head, but yes, they could just be coincidences. But even so, it makes me happy to just think that white butterflies are angels. And listen, I know not everyone believes in angels and all those like magical, awesome things. And maybe to you, white butterflies are just white butterflies. And that's cool too. <laughs> I put like a peace sign up like, hey, we're all cool with that. Oh, and also before we move on, I could not do a butterfly video without acknowledging how much I used to love wearing those old 90s butterfly clips. Those were like the thing back when I was growing up. I had a collection of probably 500. I remember they used to break really easily, but you could buy like a pack of 30 for like a dollar. Can we bring that trend back? Come on, we need more butterfly clips in this world. All right guys, let's move on to something creepier because because I'm sure that's what you all are always waiting for. This creepypasta is called the red butterfly. There's a story about this mother who took her young daughter to a butterfly conservatory. It's basically this indoor garden area with thousands of butterflies that fly around you and sometimes land on you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have this irrational fear of butterflies landing on me. I like to look at them. I think they're beautiful flying around, but I get so freaked out if they land on me. So I never really enjoyed going to places like butterfly conservatories because I would stand in there and scream because so many of them would be flying and landing on me. I just feel like butterflies up close are just very creepy bugs. Like if they did not have wings, they would look like centipedes to me. I said it but not the angel ones, we love those ones. <laughs> Anyways, this mother in the story took her daughter to this butterfly conservatory. It was a very dark and rainy day, so there was basically no one there. So the daughter ran around chasing all of the butterflies, but the mother made sure to tell her one rule. She said, you can chase any butterfly that's in here, except for the red ones. And when the daughter asked why, the mother said, because they don't like to be chased and they'll remember who you are. So this little girl had no idea what this mother meant by that. So she just ran off doing her own thing, chasing all the butterflies that she saw. She didn't really care about the rules. And as you can imagine, she stumbled across a red butterfly and decided to run after it. After only a few seconds of chasing this red butterfly, the mother saw, ran over immediately, picked her daughter up off the floor. And she said, it didn't see you, did it? Please tell me it didn't see you. And the little girl wasn't sure, but she could see how terrified her mother was. So they immediately 
immediately went home. They got home and nighttime came along and when the mother was putting her daughter to bed, she said, if you hear any strange noises, do not open your eyes, no matter what. So around 1 a.m. she heard a tapping on the glass of her window. It went on and on for probably about 30 minutes until the girl could not hold back her curiosity any longer. She wanted to see what was tapping at her window. So she opened her eyes and smacking itself against her window was a red butterfly. In fact, it might have been the red butterfly. Except a cold shiver ran down her spine when she saw that on the wings of the butterfly was human eyes staring at her. And this story continues with this red butterfly following her everywhere in life. It tapped on the window at her classroom at school, it tapped on the windows at her ballet class, it always followed her home and it always kept her up at night. And the creepiest part was that no one could see these terrifying human eyes on its wings except for her. It was almost like a sign that forever it would be watching her. And the story ends with saying, so don't chase red butterflies because they'll chase you back. Now I noticed some people that might not be so scary. I feel like a butterfly following you, eh, it is what it is. But the fact that it had human eyes on its wings that would just be against her window, no thank you. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night and looking at your window and you basically see a face pressed against it. And although that was just a creepypasta, there are actually a lot of butterflies in real life that have fake eyes on their wings. They have these eye patterns on their wings to scare off predators. It makes other animals think they are much bigger than they actually are. I don't know, looking at these pictures, it's sort of an eerie sight for me to see. They almost look like owls. Does anybody else see that too? And I mean, for fake eyes, they actually do look very realistic. But obviously they're not real, but in the creepypasta they were real human eyes. I think the creepypasta was insinuating that these red butterflies were some sort of alien life creature. Like they weren't of Earth, they were from somewhere else. I know when I was a kid and whenever I saw these like fake eyes on butterflies, I thought they were real. So. Even some caterpillars have fake eye spots on their bodies to make them look more intimidating. If you look at pictures, it makes the caterpillars look almost more like snakes. So basically, butterflies and caterpillars like to fool you. They're smarter than you think. I even read a fact somewhere that butterflies love to drink human tears. So if you're crying near one, they'll like grab onto your face and start eating up all your tears. That's a really freaky fact. Next, I just want to briefly touch on the butterfly effect. I feel like I couldn't do a video about butterflies without mentioning this very crazy phenomenon. It's not even really a phenomenon as much as it is a chaos theory. The theory is that a small change can make much bigger changes happen. Like one small incident can have a big impact on the future. This is a very hard topic to discuss. There's so many other more in-depth YouTube videos about this, but the butterfly effect comes from an analogy where a butterfly flaps its wings in Tokyo and a tornado occurs in Tennessee. So it's basically that such a small change, like a butterfly flapping its wings, can have a huge effect on weather. It's one reason why people believe time travel to be so dangerous, because if a small change was made to history, that could have a very bad effect later on. There's literally a quote here that says, a man traveled back in time to prehistoric ages and stepped on a butterfly, and the universe was entirely different when he got back. And that's why if anyone ever asks me like, hey Jesse, would you ever go back in time to make different decisions? Would you change who you dated? Would you change what you did in life? I always say no because everything I did brought me to this exact moment right now where I am today and I feel like if I went back in time and changed something my future would be so different and that's basically what the butterfly effect is. I know it's confusing but there are so many more resources out there that describe it a lot better than I ever could. All right and the last story is called the music box. There was a girl who saw a butterfly fly music box sitting in a trash can while she was walking her dog. It looked so beautiful to her and since no one was taking it, clearly it was in the trash, she decided to take it for herself. When she got home and wound it up, she was pleased to hear the song was Somewhere Over the Rainbow from Wizard of Oz. And everything seemed great. She honestly couldn't figure out why someone would throw something like this away. But soon she would figure that out. Because one day while she was using the mirror on the music box to put on her earrings, she noticed a large dark shape stand 
standing in the room behind her. And this began happening every single day that she would use the music box and look in the mirror. This shadow figure in her room behind her would get closer and closer every day that she used it. One day this figure appeared right behind her head and that freaked her out. She couldn't use it anymore. She decided to throw it out in the garbage can beside her house. But the next day when she went out to check on it, someone had stolen it just like she had stolen it before. And the cycle continued and uh, whoever took this music box was in for a treat as well. So I guess this butterfly music box had some sort of paranormal activity with it and that's why no one wanted to keep it but everyone kept stealing it because people seem to be drawn by any sort of paranormal force without even knowing it. Anyway, so guys, those are all of the creepy things we're gonna be talking about with butterflies today. If I missed any really cool facts, comment them down below. And if you like these type of videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know. But yeah, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!